When I started making glass, no, I just did it for myself. I just, I just made it because I, I like doing it. And over time, I started doing it more and more, and I started making more pieces, and they got bigger. And um, I, I never really thought about turning it into a business. But the more I did it, the more I, in, I found I enjoyed doing it. So I thought, well, why not? You know, this is. Um, it incorporates all the bits that I've sort of trained for all my life. And I just think this is, um, this is what I want to do, you know, it's, and it, it, it just, be, it just, everything just sort of fell into place. What I try to do is create images that tell a story. So you have this beautiful thing, and you can't help but almost can't help but from being beautiful because of the because of those rich colors. And then you have the essence of a story in there as well. It it just calls to something inside us. We we love stories so much that we tell each other stories every night when we dream, and. Having, having something meaningful in, in a window with the sunlight coming through it, I think, again, I think that's really magical. It just, it, uh, it brightens up your home. When I pick something up, I can see possibilities in it. I don't see things as trash. I, uh, I, I pick up something, in, especially something as beautiful as glass with, um, you know, these textures and stuff and, in it, and I think, oh, there must be something you can do with it. I think it's the most vibrant and the depth of color is something that I, do, I can't personally reproduce in any other medium. And there's also something really great about looking at something that's so ordinary and then picking it up and reworking it and making it into something that's really beautiful. I think you need patience. There's nothing that can be rushed about it. You, you have to, when you're cutting the glass, you have to take your time. You have to get this, there's a scritchy noise that it makes when you're cutting the glass. And you have to tap it gently to take the pieces apart. If you, if you try to rush that, it breaks in a, in a random way. And when you're putting the foil on, if you put it on too quickly, your seams become wobbly. It doesn't, it just looks tatty. And soldering, you have to do that slowly. And it, it, it happens at the pace that it happens. It, it's, you're melting metal. <laughs> and if you don't, allow it to melt at its own pace, it just doesn't work. The other thing that's really interesting about it is that each step is very engaging. Every, you have to put your whole attention into it. If, when you're cutting glass, if you're not paying attention, it's gonna go wrong. And the same holds true with all three of the main stages of, of making these pieces. There's, a, there's this thing the psychologists called flow where you um, lose track of time. And that happens to me. Sometimes I'll be working, I'll be working all day long and not realize where the time has gone. And it's, 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 it's so absorbing and so interesting. And I'm not thinking about anything else. I don't um, have the capacity to think about other things. And that's actually a really good thing. You know, you're, you're there with the glass and you're there with the, you know, making something and the end result is, is to, I find it's terrific, I find the end, end result is great. I worry that people will just think, oh, well, it's just another piece of decoration, or it's just another something to you know, gather dust in the house. I want, I want to make pieces that mean something to people and that they will treasure. Well, I love glass because of the colors. Uh, 
and the translucence of it and the just the 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 joy of working with this um, fragile but strong material that it's just such beautiful colors that never fade it just transforms an ordinary window into something magical sometimes when people pick these things up or they see them their face just lights up and I just it just gives me such a thrill and I, I enjoy talking to people about it I, I get the, the pleasure of making it and I get the pleasure of seeing people enjoy them as well